everybody. Hello. We're here again with more Nicole. Nicole, Papa. Nicole, Papa. Papa. Okay, and she's in class. She's she's doing shit. Um, yep, learning a thing. Let's go. Should we just... If we go back to the convenience store, we can just kind of just brown those and to get him money. Can, could you think we can do that? Oh, we can Possibly. either buy a snack or check the customers. Ah, screw that then. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> Let's let's go let's go <laughs> let's go chat to people forever. Yeah, that's all we want to do. Socialize because we're getting our yeah. amity up. Okay, let's just yeah, screw ch- eating. Oh, okay. Yeah. Screw eating. Eating costs money. We're not allowed to eat. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Yeah. So we're doing this thing where we're just like, today is terrible. I can't concentrate. Oh, we need something that boosts morale. Oh, she okay. Can't concentrate in class. Because she's only got sixty-eight percent morale. Yeah. So that's a really low number, 68%. Yes. Okay, shall we shall we see what we can do? So relax in nature is morale. Let's harass a duck. Let's go, yeah. yeah, let's go harass a duck. <laughs> yep. Let's go harass more harassing ducks. Duck. Harassing, harassing a duck. Harassing a duck. We spent a day harassing <laughs> a duck. <laughs> let's go Let's chat. go hang around behind the movie theatre. Oh, yeah, let's, we... let's be creepy. Let's be creepy behind yeah, the movie theatre. Yeah, let's go find the creepiest place to spend the evening. I'm in the night activities. Oh, that's a clues thing, though. Uh, well, yeah, we're not doing too bad with clues. We've got, like, a whole but, 27. <laughs> She's got a magnifying glass and just following a prostitute around. <laughs> <laughs> what are you putting in there? Oh, my God! God. It's gonna, could you leave me alone, please? You're, you're kind of putting off the customers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going after you instead. Stop making that yeah. mess. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, oh. I okay, strike that's as weirdly specific. As soon as anthropology is over. Strike, I... strike, 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 strike. <laughs> I arrive early to my economics class and smile to myself as I see nearly all this. Are we going to meet Darren, yeah. do you think? Dun, dun, dun. What? Because cause economics is something we've not met before. Because yeah. Ted was anthropology and what's-his-face was science and what's-his-face was sports. Yeah, so this would be um, economics of Darren and of what? Because I assume they're the same person. I just think assume they're the same person as well. Au revoir is just a random murderer. It's, it's one yes. Of the I arrive early to my economics class and smile to myself as you see nearly all the seats are free. There's something about really satisfying about being the first one of people to reach class. Yeah, I call it quiet and boring. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty that's, much that's it. Yeah. I'll sit here patiently waiting, not doing anything. Yep. Do, 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 do. I could have gone and got a drink. <laughs> Balls. I could have talked <laughs> to people I liked. Instead of yeah. being stuck with these economics nerds. <laughs> you get your pet seats and you can watch everyone else pile in and silently judge. Oh, oh you're wow. that okay. person. Judging, judging, judging. Oh, they've punched me. <laughs> I like that. It's just like silently judging. That's her, her expression. That's what is that expression <laughs> is there. That's the silently judging expression. <laughs> That's why she has it in the mirror because she's silently judging herself. I mean, I don't do that. Okay, maybe oh, a little. Balls. Yeah, liar. It's nice to be able to relax and not feel hurried to sit down. That's why why I make sure to get to class early as often as possible. I don't want to be stuck in a pre-class traffic jam at the back. Okay. Mm. Uh, I hey, no- hey, hey. Uh, I know oh we got time God. for that. <laughs> you and oh God, she said that. She actually said that. Yeah. I take my seat near my usual area, towards the front and near the centre. I want to see everything that my professor is writing on the board. So this is the perfect place to be. Basically, this whole scene is, I sit down and get early into class. Yep. Once I get settled and my bag's tucked away near my feet, I pull my laptop out to prep for class. Oh, Jesus. (sighs) (laughs) This is too much detail. This is irrelevant. (laughs) This is completely irrelevant. It's just like... I got, got to class early, got bored, went on roller. Yep. I put my... Got, to, got to class early, I had plenty of time, got my laptop out. That's yeah. Just... It only takes a few moments, not that I expected it to take a while. All I have to do is pull up a blank dock, sit back, then log into roller. I don't have anything into bed to do, it can hurt, it can help either. <laughs> no yeah. you and your obsession with roller. <clears throat> I scroll down, admiring different pictures of clothes and sceneries when I suddenly reach a photo that sets that set that makes me want to groan. 
it's just a bunch of different pictures of Wonder Man put together, like totally harmless on their own. But it reminds me of that run-in I had with that one guy. What was his name? Uh, Kurt Madry? I asked Kurt Madry. <laughs> I asked Chandra about him when I finally got his shoes to her that day. He wasn't lying when he said he was the quarterback. Or when he claimed to be a freshman, just like me. They call him some kind of football star, like a football prodigy even. At least that's what the other girls on Chandra's cheerleading team said. That's apparently really popular in those athletic circles because they like dickheads. They like alpha male douchebags. Yeah. I bet. Hang on, sorry, I did nope. a thing. I bet. Hey, relax the clapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I, I bet we're not actually going to meet what's his face. It's going to be what's his douchebag. What? Kurt Arseface. Yeah. And it turned out that Kurt Arseface is actually what? And he's, he's got a, he's got a more uh, sensitive side ish. Or I guess. or yeah. or yeah. he's still a yeah. douchebag. Yeah. And he's failing class. <laughs> At which but point get, I would find that awesome. But he'll probably get you know nudged through because he's because of college football. Yeah. But, you know. Crap! Fine. I got myself worked up again. I turn back to Roller in hopes it'll settle me down, and it slowly works. More people start showing up to class as I web surf, and I briefly take notice before returning to my laptop screen. That is, until I see him. I see <sighs> Kurt freaking Madry walk into the classroom, and my heart plummets into my chest faster than an anvil off a cliff. I pray he's only lost or something. Please be lost. Please don't be taking the same econ class as me, because that totally matters. But, but, but wouldn't you have noticed previously? I don't know. Either yeah. way, I hunch forward and try... Uh, yo, I don't know, she's only been there like a week and a half. Yeah, true. I hunch forward to try and shield my face from view with my laptop screen, but let's face it, that's a lame disguise, and lame disguises never work. That's not true. Oh, I want to kill him and he hasn't even spoken properly. <laughs> well, well, well. I can hear Chuck cuddle. Who would have thought I'd, reach, I'd find you here in a class in college? Dickhead. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Kurt chuckle gloatingly to himself. Why is he even doing that? It's not like there's a prize for spawning me in this empty row. Yo, in this econ class. Two. Grave. Crap, I sigh. Unfortunately. It must be my lucky year, then. I can't believe this. How could I not have known? Shouldn't I have vaguely recognized him when we first met? I didn't know when you were in this class either. Where do you usually sit? Oh, today is my first time attending. Douchebag. For uh, I do not normally have to attend classes because I'm a sporting personality. Is that a bad joke? No, completely serious. Just didn't feel like it, you know. Figured I wouldn't have to. Yeah, Did me. you know there's a test coming up, like, soon? <laughs> That is why I started coming to class. Kurt points to his head as if it should have been obvious that he thought this out, and I can only stare at him, dumbfounded by his logic. I don't know what to say. You could invite me to take a seat. No. No, no. I'm so adamant about this, it's <laughs> not even funny. Go sit in the I back just... like all the other losers. Hey, Kurt. Madry ain't a loser. He's a damn winner. Besides, I don't see anyone else sitting here. With a smug grin, he takes a seat <clears throat> next to me, and I don't bother arguing the point. It's not worth causing a scene to make him move. I just ignore him while the teacher starts talking, and it'll be fine. I can do this. Just fart loudly. Now I'll get rid of him. <laughs> he is that sort of bloke, isn't he? That yeah. would give a shit about that. However, the moment I catch him glancing at my screen, I shoot him a glare. It's not that I'm particularly embarrassed of anything I have on screen for now. It's just annoying and rude. Don't do that. You don't read over someone's shoulder. It's rude. Just, you just don't. You just don't. Not it's nice. just rude. It's especially invasion of their pri of their privacy and personal space. Yeah. With your eyes. Oh, and that was do what? Don't look well, at my no, screen while I'm doing stuff. It's creepy. Kurt makes a point to keep his position. He smirks at me and starts drumming his fingers against the table as if waiting for me to continue with what I was doing. Just stab him. <laughs> no one will care. Go on. 
<laughs> just let, put him get an award. Just break his teeth. Then he'd have to live with broken teeth. I just for about a month. Then he goes to see a dentist. But you know, it's just... yeah. I just stare at him. He keeps drumming those fingers. Oh, I've reached a stalemate. I haven't yet picked up my laptop and shoved it through his teeth. Like I so want to do. Just you know? Take out the battery and electrocute him with it. You seriously <laughs> stuck? I've heard rumors that you do seriously suck. There there has been, been written that, on the That's why you're like so popular with the sports teams. Yeah, like Telly. <laughs> nah, great. I think you're fine. That I rule. You rule I'll turn the around sucking and, just up just the turn dicks. Around and piss off. I don't have a chance to retort. Our economics professor enters the classroom and places his briefcase on the table at the head of the class. Man, I have never been as happy to see a teacher as I am now. I click out of my bra- browser as class begins. I'm <laughs> what are you going to say there? Um, <laughs> Brazier. I think you can say Brazier then. Click no, out no. <laughs> it's, it's this. All... There we go. This, now it's on. <laughs> 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 she doesn't undo it first either. She just rip it out in one fluid yeah. motion. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I click out of my browser as class begins and focus on my teacher as he begins his lecture. This guy explains a lot, so he tends to rush. I have to keep on my game if I want to understand what he's saying. But as the lecture proceeds, it's hard not to notice card next to me. The guy has a notebook and a pen out, but it's like he's not paying attention at all. Okay, well, that's kind of too mean to say. He does look like he's trying. He's very trying. He writes after our teacher talks, and I can see a few lines of pages scratched in with notes. But he's definitely having a hard time keeping up. It's a good job it's my, my problem, and I won't have to deal with this problem at all, because he's such a loser. Well, if Kirk came to class, he would have known how fast his teacher talks. Still, I do feel bad for him a little. All right, a lot. No, I don't. And I don't want to have to no. my own problem. Sometimes I think I'm way too nice for my own good. Class ends and I silently sigh in relief. It wasn't so bad. I got most of the material down and I actually understood it. Kurt, however, doesn't look like he had the same <laughs> luck. He's back in his seat. I told you he's going to be an idiot. And I can hear him tiredly groan under his breath. <laughs> Sports <clears throat> again, <if> Everything <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm hating myself for taking this class. I didn't know it'd be this damn hard. Admittedly, if I attended sometimes, I may have noticed. Mm, yeah, just try showing up more. Maybe I'll actually learn something that way. I take on a tone of lighthearted teasing, but I'm totally fucking serious. <laughs> Jesus. She's a dick. This was just a joke. Yeah, well, I didn't find it very funny. Grave. I do not, I'm not used to being challenged in any way. Kurt's I'm used to be having everything done for me. Ken slams his notebook closed and reaches under the table to pull his backpack out. Do you, like, need this class? What are you thinking for your major? I don't know. Business? Yeah, you need economics and business, you twat. He says it so noncommittally that I wonder if he just thought of that right now. Oh, then, yeah, you definitely need this class. I'm only taking it for the GE requirement. I'm actually thinking of majoring in law. Law, hey? Didn't peg you as the type. The type? He better might be saying that I don't look smart. Had enough of crap, crap back in high school. <laughs> it really doesn't help that I open my mouth wide and look like a, like a sex doll. I know, but I still do it anyway. <laughs> the law type. When you think of someone going into law, you think tight suits and turned noses. But you're not like that. For one thing, you're too sizzling. Well, hell, I bet you'd pull off a sexy library and look real well. Ha, ha, ha. Pervy, perv, perv, perv. And you say I tell awful jokes. No, you could definitely pull off a librarian. (laughs) Drink completely serious. Yeah. But whatever. What about me? Kurt does that thing where he gestures at himself like I should be honest to bask in his glory. (laughs) Can you imagine this fine specimen of a man going into business? Trust me, I can rock a suit. Got prom pics to prove it, just like everyone else here. You I'll tit. pass on the pics, but thanks. But you in business, um, take a moment to imagine it. Can I really see Kurt doing well in the business world? Mm, that's way too funny. Yeah. 
way too funny. <laughs> I imagine curtain you a suit to succeed. and a tie <laughs> and even huge Coke bottle glasses. It was just so ridiculous that I completely unintentionally start giggling. Kurt takes notice immediately and wrinkles his brow. Are you laughing? No, no. It's such an obvious lie. I'm covering my mouth and my body shakes a little from my previous attack of the giggles. Okay, I am. Sorry, sorry. It's really hard to imagine you doing the business thing. Tuck clicks his tongue and crosses his arms. Obviously annoyed and offended that I'd even think of laughing at him. Cut it out or I'm gonna get mad. Oh, like you're not already? Kurt shoots me a look to show me he means business. And I do my best to quickly sober up. I feel bad for laughing at him, but it was reflexive. I couldn't control it. He's just such an asshole. It's difficult not to laugh at him at any possible opportunity. Yeah, um, okay. If not a businessman, maybe a professional football player. I mean, you've been playing it for a while, right? Kurt laughs and loosens up now that we've shifted gears. Thank goodness, I was getting a little scared before. Quick, stoke his ego. Stoke his ego. Yeah, because he doesn't get enough of that. You could say that. Yes. Kurt beams as he starts going into his story. It was back in the summer of 1873. <laughs> I started playing football when I was just a child, like everyone else, around the age of eight or nine. Totally dominated the touch football league, yeah, <laughs> and just made my way up from there. I got into this school through an athletic scholarship. Scouts came to one of my big games, saw me walk the field, and the rest is history. Kurt waggles his eyebrows at me. Stop that. <laughs> you impressed yet? Grave. What, I, you play football? Not really. No. I know his well, question handed. is something I don't understand. So wait, do you even like playing football? Like it? I love it. The feeling you get when you're running down the field. Your eyes zero in on the ball. You get your hands in position and you cup the ball with all your strength. Cut mimes the action, just like someone threw a pass from the other side of the classroom. See, I'd be tempted to throw an apple at him if he did that, if I saw him doing that. Yeah, I would just as well. From the back of the class, just throw an apple at his face. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. Gets you way pumped up. You can't get enough of it. Oh, yes. Then a wire in the business. Because the one who's surprised now, he looks like me. He didn't understand what I just said. And I repeat myself. Why business? If you love football so much, you're obviously really into it. And why not stick to it? There's a beat and Kurt glances away to scratch the backside of his head. <laughs> Which me is... not know, me not think. <laughs> <laughs> Grunga not think much. Uh, going pro is tough. At least that's what I've heard. You've got to keep your body in shape and one single bad injury can end your whole career. Unless you become a manager or some kind of pundit. Or, yeah. you know. Yeah. Coach, for example. Besides, my dad's big on business. Once I graduate, he can hook me up with a job in one of his companies somewhere. Sweeping the floor. Is that? Um... Oh, God, no. He'd end up in charge of something, wouldn't he? He would be, yeah. Is that really oh. his reasoning? I don't know if his dad's some big hotshot businessman, but if he is, wow, spoil much, Kurt. Kurt suddenly looks around as if remembering where we are. The whole class is empty. We've just been seriously sitting here talking this whole time. This whole five minutes? Yeah. Wow, oh, this place is deserted. I guess I got too caught up in our conversation to notice. Ugh. That's surprisingly the truth, and Kurt seems oddly pleased by it. It's the Marjorie charm. Girls get a taste of it, and they're hooked. Look at my pedo grin. Oh, yes. <laughs> I look like some kind of sexual predator. <laughs> Kurt leads in, eyeing me like a predator. Locks onto the tasty-looking morsel of meat. Oh, sorry, uh, I did a thing. <laughs> and suddenly the world deci decided to turn into a, a random menu. Of course, you're free to taste whenever. What? Don't you dare finish that sentence or I'll hit you right in your Madry's charms. I poise my shoulder That's bag to breakfast show breakfast cereal. Yeah. They're after me, Madry charms. They're after me, charms. Oh, no. <laughs> I poise my shoulder bag to show I mean business and Kurt laughs, his hand raised, palms uh -huh. outward. What is this with hands? It's hands again. <laughs> Chill out, Grave. You'll ruin your face if you get all angry like that. He rises Badly. from his well, seat. Well, uh, to look at it already, I don't think you can get more ruined with that mouth. It's no. Ah, no. no. It's gummy, Nicole. Ah, ah. Ah. 
He raises from his seat and slings his backpack over one shoulder before waving me off with the raise of his hand. He said goodbye. Yeah. He turned around and naffed off. Yeah. I'm going to jet now. Gotta get back for team practice. Later, grave. Yeah. Bye. Now fuck off. I don't even look at him as he leaves the classroom, leaving me all alone. Kurt is annoying, I can't deny that, but I think I get how he ticks now. It was interesting to hear about him. If I'm no, it wasn't. Tell the no, it wasn't. He was the it most really interesting wasn't. character we know. Me do sport! <laughs> me do sport, me big man, me not bright. However, me, dad bro me dad rich, me dad get me job in shit place. Me not work properly. Me not know how work good. However, he's still a pig. To think I was even going to offer to lend him my notes. No, I never do that. No, we're not doing that. In fact, we just point and laugh as he fails. That would be far more entertaining. Yes, that's what I want to do. Yeah. So, um... Hmm. Where haven't we been for a while? Uh, uh, library? Go to the library, do a yes. thing. Study? Yeah, see if that does anything different from doing extra classes. Uh, well, I think he's actually not halfway anymore. To the disco pub. Disco pub. Disco pub. Is there anything free we can do there? I can't remember. Uh, Dance. Is Twelve to twenty dollars. Nah, nah. Drink something. Nine bucks. Look for suspicious behaviour. That's it. Uh, let's go somewhere else. This place is expensive, and we have no money. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh. Can't do the theatre. The restaurant was like a hundred quid. Yeah. Go cafeteria? chat to people in the cafeteria. Yeah, let's just go sit in the cafeteria where it's free. Yeah, and talk to people. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, we're not being uh, a cheerleader. Good God, no. Um, the, the campus. Campus. Go to campus, which we're on at all times anyway. Chat to people. Socialise. Yay. Try to socialise yeah. more. Socialise all socializing. day. Keep socialising. Keep socialising. Oh. Yeah. Let's go to the cafeteria and socialise there. Yep, yeah, let's just follow people around talking at them. Yep. Yeah. That's all we've done today. It's just like... And we only got six amity for that. <laughs> okay. Should we go take extra classes? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's be smart. Heil! Heil Hitler! Yeah. Six classes! Heil. That's all we've done today. We've done like all the classes. We've yeah. got quite a lot of wit. Yeah. If we get another nut, if we get um, exactly another nine, I think it is, we'll have 50 out of 100 and we'll be a half wit. No, 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 no. That's 50 <laughs> out of 1,000. Oh, we've got a while to go before being a half. Well, we have to go that far before we can kill, oh. kill us as a half wit. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, God, what do we have to do now? Who do you think it is? Darren. I hope it's Darren. I'm assuming we're going to meet that git at some point in face to face. Yeah. So maybe we have to, you know, chat him up online a lot first. Maybe. This is the building my professor mentioned, I think. Like, yeah. Like, Tilly? I'm standing outside of a tall school building, one of the newer ones, judging from its appearance. Apparently my it looks like... lab uh -oh. is located here somewhere. Could be a language lab. Yeah. I kind of have this thing where I like to get to know my teachers as soon as possible. I was super easy in high school. Oh, it was super easy in high school. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's a very different thing. Just yeah. using that one letter. Yeah. That, that does make quite a lot of difference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my teacher said there was a good habit to get into to take me to college. Oh, dear God. <laughs> but apparently you can't go talk to your professor whenever you want. You have to wait for this thing called office hours and go talk and to them. I don't understand this concept of office hours. I like to go whenever I feel like it. So I was able to meet with my other three teachers, but my bio professor apparently has some weird meeting to go to. So after asking, well, pestering through emails... I talk, blah, 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 blah. he agrees oh, to meet with me. It's going to be science guy, isn't it? It's going to be Gummy Jeff. Oh, yes. Only catches I have to swing by his lab instead of his office. 
I guess he works during this time. It's pretty nice of him to meet with me, even though he's busy. My God, he works in his lab? No. What kind of scientist is he? <laughs> Maybe all those emails had something to do with it. I have the room number of his lab, so finding it's just a matter of following directions on the lobby map. After a few flights of stairs and some number of halls, I finally reach what has to be my professor's lab. Quietly, I slide the door open and pick my head inside. Quick, Jeffrey, hold down the baboon <coughs> while I remove its cranium. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really clean in here. Except for the baboon bits. <laughs> There's a lot of feces Jeffrey, over there. Jeffrey, enough helium. It's going to explode. Black surface lab stations are lined down the middle of the room, and on the right side are two fume hoods with different colored knobs. Uh, yeah. I feel like a fish out of water here. I don't know what anything is, apart from those fume hoods and black lab stations. <laughs> Don't know anything is apart from those things I just described in in, in quite good detail, really. Yeah, uh, gas taps, uh, Bunsen burners. How I miss the. I love Bunsen burners. Two students. The, sorry. Sorry, go for it. You I was about to ram, reminisce about being allowed to set things on fire in school. I was always <laughs> allowed to set things on fire. Okay, I just reminisce yeah, for a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. and what? I just reminisce for a bit, and then I, I accidentally okay. hit go forward. My cats are having a okay. fight. If you're wondering what that noise is. <laughs> I thought it was just you had your legs spasming. Um, Kneeing the table repeatedly. No, that's definitely my cat's. I'm oh, nowhere near the a, table. A, a very precise spasm that means you're basically doing the moves out of river dance. <laughs> Every now and again, it hits a table. Yes. Have you, in fact, become the lord of the dance? Uh, no, I'm the lady of the dance, bitch. <laughs> Is that the lady of the lake, but sweatier? Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much describes my whole, <laughs> whole point, to be honest. Anyway, back to the story. Baboons. Can I help you? Obviously, she's talking to me. Yes, I'm a lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was looking for Professor Garver. Is he in right now? Indeed. He sat out for a bit. He needs to get something from the lab storage downstairs. Um, could you help me hold down this baboon? <laughs> the girl gives me a look from head to toe. Who are you exactly? Oh. She's one of Garvis classes. To my... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know why that looks... I don't know why that looks so funny. <laughs> it just does. I think it's the trying to be hot whilst wearing safety glasses. <laughs> yes! <laughs> they are not... Safety glasses are never attractive. <laughs> Sometimes cool, but never never attractive. Yes. To my surprise, uh, I see Jeff stepping up to meet me, even though I knew he was here. So it really wasn't that much of a surprise. His guy horse was pushed up into his hair. He gives me a small wave and a smile as we lock eyes. He didn't say that he had a position in this lab. I just assumed it was as a test subject. Now that I think about it. <coughs> It won't be a while, so if you don't mind, I can take care of you while you wait. I looks to his fellow lab worker and tilts his head. No problem with that, right? Just make sure she follows lab safety rules, Jeff. I'm going to jump out this window dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> she leaves it at that and returns to her work. Jeez, I know I'm not some sort of sciencey person, but come on. What does she mean by lab safety rules? Do not feed the baboon. <laughs> Just lowers his goggles from, over. from outside. Do not feed the baboon. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> You're going to need one of these, a lab coat, <coughs> or and some gloves too. He takes a look down at my feet. You're not going to need those, and your, sho your shoes are cl close, close toed, nice. Just put on what I told you, and you'll be okay. Meet me back at my station when you're done. Right, now Jeff has finished dressing her in his fantasy gear. Um, <laughs> but the fear thing is, I think it probably is as well. Um, oh, I, I love it all, Sancy. Oh, talk to me about... <laughs> talk to me about osmosis. Oh, yes. Do you really want me to talk to you about osmosis? <laughs> I can totally do it. I can totally do it in the Valley Girl accent as well. <laughs> 
That should be a special. We just go through <laughs> stuff with the Valley Girl accent. Yeah, we just go, <laughs> tell me about osmosis. Oh, well, <laughs> when you have like a semi-permeable membrane. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo does Valley Girl science. There you go. Cleo and Corbs do Valley Girl science. Oh, yes. With Valley Girl and Gummy <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> 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 anyway, we're off now. Bye! Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>